hi, my name is Daniel and I work in communications for NatureMate and we are launching a new video series uh, to do a deeper dive into human health and also talk about how nutrients can impact our overall health and wellness. Joining me today in our first video is Dr. Susan Mitmesser. She leads our scientific research at NatureMade, not only for our portfolio of products, but also in support of Nourish, which is our new uh, personalized vitamins and supplements subscription service. Thank you, Susan, for joining us. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Thanks. Nice How to see you, you, even though it's not in person. I know, I know. Um, so, you know, I, I, we were talking about where to start this conversation and it seems to make the most sense to dive into the immune system because obviously I think that's top of mind for everyone right now. But, you know, I have a feeling most people don't really know a lot about it. So, you know, just to kind of take a step back and lay some, some sort of foundation for people in terms of what our immune system is and what it does. So I just figured the best question to start with would be, what is immunity? So the word immunity really just means the ability to resist something, which mm -hmm. is a pretty simple definition. But when you think about it in a biological sense, it's our body's ability to prevent itself from an infection or a disease. And really what that boils down to is it's a complex of complexity of organs and tissues and cells all working together with one common goal to really prevent things from invading your body. So, so kind of, so when I think about like the respiratory system or the cardiovascular system, I could probably hopefully name a few things in there that are really key to that. What I don't really know is are the different parts of the immune system. So maybe you can kind of share some more information in terms of what parts of our body actually comprise our immune system. Yeah. I start to think about the immune system in two primary parts and okay. one part being the innate immune system and then the complementary part being the adaptive immune system and um, think of the innate immune system as guards that are preventing invaders from coming into your body so think of it like um, something that's a barrier so your skin is part of the innate immune system your um, you have uh, an acidic pH in your digestive tract, and that's part of the innate immune system. It, it's acidic enough so it actually kills pathogens going down your GI tract. So those are all parts of the innate immune system, the guards that are okay. not allowing things in. And then complementary to that is the adaptive immune system. And so those are the things that if an invader gets in, gets past the guards, the innate immune system first recognizes it as foreign, foreign object in the body. Then it produces chemicals and things like white blood cells that fight and kill the invader. And then thirdly, it actually has a memory. So your immune system has a memory in that it almost tags, think of it like a tag on the foreign invader in your body. It tags it with an antibody. So next time, if your body sees that same foreigner or, or um, invader, your body knows how to respond to it because it was tagged and previously seen it. So your immune cells then can attack it a bit differently and more robustly. So, so arguably, so if, if I had a particular flu strain one year and the next year I was exposed to that again, it got in my body, my body would not only recognize it, but it would be able to fight it more effectively than if it had never encountered it before. Is that the idea? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So your body's seen it. So it's almost primed your, your immune system. It has an idea of what the DNA is. And so okay. it can react a bit differently. Absolutely. Interesting. Got it. it sounds like keeping out like the most unwanted guest at a wedding. <laughs> You got oh, all I these got people, like, you know, manning the entrance and then monitoring the crowd and tagging that person and getting rid of them. So Wait a second. <laughs> I think I had that guest at dinner one night. recently. <laughs> do I know them? <laughs> Perhaps you do. <laughs> It'll remain nameless. <laughs> um, so, you know, one thing that I've always heard from people and even myself, I guess, but I've always heard people talk about, 
you know, sort of their regime around supporting their immune system. Some people are like, that's why I drink orange juice every day. Some people are like, well, the minute I feel sick, I take echinacea. Is there any truth or fact behind that? Like, can you share some details in terms of what's the best way to approach supporting your immune system? I think the best way to think about it is, a lot of people do think of it seasonal, right? Your immune system works in seasons. Yes. And like any well operating, good operating system, yeah. it's working constantly running and it's very efficient. And so it's working all the time. Your immune system is not seasonal at all. It works every day, all year long, and it doesn't take a vacation. And so you need to remember that, that all the stuff that you do on a daily basis, your eating, your exercise, your environmental exposures, all affects your immune system. And so making sure that those are um, well in place and you're priming your immune system to fight when it is attacked by an invader, you're primed and ready to go. So it's basically like you're feeding those guards that never go on vacation. Basically. Exactly. Okay. Well, the guards as well as the soldiers inside. Correct. You want to make sure they're both very heavily armed. <laughs> so it's really about sort of bolstering, bolstering your immune system co continuously, right? It's not sort of moments and peaks and valleys. It's like the best way to approach it is to really make sure you're supporting that on a regular basis. Right, because if your immune system is fighting things all the time, every everything that you expose it to, it's it's right. fighting all the time. And if it's using the energy to um, to do that and it doesn't have the right components to do that on a consistent basis, then when you are bombarded with something that really gets past the guards and gets in and the soldiers are having to do their work, then it doesn't have the robustness or all the things that go into the complexity of producing the white blood cells, making sure they multiply and provide um, antibodies to tag them and remember right. them. Okay, wow. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it being as layered as, you know what I mean? Like I've never really thought about the immune system being that complex, which I don't know why, but I guess I just never really paid attention to it. Is is it your immune system that's responding to things as benign as pollen during like allergy season? It is, it is. And that's actually a good example of part of the innate immune system, the barrier function. So when you um, have are exposed to an allergen and you have a response, a lot of times it produces a mucus. Mm -hmm. And that mucus is really to help you get rid of the allergen that, that's gotten into your nasal cavity, as an oh, example. And it's, it's helping to expel that. So that's a barrier function. You just uh -huh. described innate immunity. <laughs> that was a really good analogy. I mean, it's probably a gross mental image, but that was actually really helpful. It's like I've never thought about mucus uh, being such a good thing. Oh, your mucus is your friend. It's <laughs> I feel like we should make that a t-shirt. <laughs> mucus, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of kind of in the same vein in terms of, you know, how to, we were just talking about this, um, supporting your immune system kind of talked about people's regimens and the idea that it should be you know you should be bolstering that immune system on a regular basis so in terms of nutrients what are the key nutrients to help do that there are probably a couple that you're most familiar with um vitamin c is often okay. associated with um immunity yeah. and um so that's an antioxidant and it right. actually when the white blood cells release a chemical and they start fighting the invaders and the vitamin C comes along and it helps with that process. Vitamin E is another antioxidant, which most people kind of forget about, but vitamin yeah. E is heavily involved in the immune system. Um, vitamin A and vitamin D. Uh, a lot of times people think of vitamin A only for visual acuity or working um, in the, with the, your retina, but yeah. it's heavily involved in the immune system. And finally, my favorite is zinc. Zinc is really, really involved and critical for a function, well-functioning immune system. So, so, so zinc is like the, the silver bullet, if you will. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I don't think any of them are silver bullets. You Fair need enough. all of them the collectively. <laughs> yeah, you need all of them collectively to have a well-functioning immune system. 
But zinc, I think, is the one that is least recognized as helping with the immune system. That's really interesting. I Yeah, I honestly hadn't really heard about zinc before. I feel like I've only heard about it really honestly since like within the last year. Um, and I think it was like I got sick, I think, probably in December. And I remember like reading up and, and zinc was on the list of things. To, and I was like, oh, OK. I had never really thought about it before. You, so. you obviously don't hang out in the same circles I do because we talk about He's that kind not of hang out in the same parts of the building. That is absolutely <laughs> true, because I feel like most of that information would completely go over my head. <laughs> <laughs> You're selling yourself short. You get it. You do. <laughs> Um, so we talked about nutrients, we talked about sort of how the immune system works, you know, and kind of that idea of how you support it. I mean, aside from sort of the, the nutrient piece, um, what, there are other ways to support your immune system. What's the one that people often overlook in your opinion? Mm. Um, I would have to say sleep. Sleep is many times overlooked as how it affects the overall body and all your systems, right? Yeah. Um, remember, we sleep to restore our bodies, to re repair ourselves. Yeah. And it especially is important for your immune system. So your cells have time to repair, your body has time to recover. So if you don't have proper sleep, there is a very much a correlation to um, the effect on your immune system. So get plenty wow. of sleep. Don't okay. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be an issue, to be honest with you. Although, so here's a question. I don't know if you'll know this. There's such a debate about what's what's the right amount of sleep. I mean, I I typically seem to get between six and seven, and I feel rested. I you know, but I know a lot of people are all about eight, and that just seems too long. Like I almost feel too tired after a certain amount of sleep. Yeah. Well we are going to have a, se a session on sleep hygiene in which oh, I hope to address that very question. Oh, perfect. Well, then we made we made a note. We will put a pin in that question for the next one, Absolutely. Uh, which I guess is a good way to sort of in this one. Um, you know, we're, we're going to dive a little bit more into our next video on sort of how all those nutrients work in the body uh, to support the immune system. We'll get into more details there. Um, and uh, that's it. This was this was really fun talking to you. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. I um, really enjoyed the engagement. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> right. Not in person, but it was fun. I think, thanks for the discussion. I loved it. You're like anybody. I will talk to anybody right now. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for tuning in for this. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in knowing more, we're going to have more videos coming out. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions for us, please DM us or put it in the comments, whatever makes the most sense, and we will address it either in an upcoming video or even, you know, just directly uh, via a post. Um, so thank you very much, and we look forward to uh, talking more about human health and nutrients. Bye.